Look at that. Ooh. It's simple. Delish. Now, I, cook, I first cooked this on a dish, um, on a series of Fry TV called Good Money Saved Diet. Mm. And it was, um, we did the ten, favorites, the ten favorite nations dishes, and it came out, I think, number six. Oh, really? Seven. Yeah, was so it? It's very simple. <laughs> so, so gorgeous, and not that hard to make. No, it's not. And, and let's just, so pretty much, chow mein is, is noodles and bean sprouts with some sort of meat or protein. You can do a vegetarian version. Sometimes we actually use a bit of uh, cooked chicken like this. This is a use-up dish. However, Holly, what did you say in your house? I said, who's got chicken left over from yeah, Sunday roast? Right? <laughs> Doesn't have. We do. do. I know. Well, how? If there's, if there's only the two of us there and the butcher's chicken, because we get our, uh, always get our chicken from the butchers. Is, is bigger, so it's quite a big if old If there bird. was one of me, I'd still go through it. You Just could, keep you, going you back. You eat a whole chicken. Dunk it in the gravy, like, a little bit. You know, However, anyway. we make soup with a carcass. Even better. If you're not oh, using... If you're not using cooked chicken... <laughs> <laughs> if you're not using Sorry. cooked chicken, yeah. here's a little tip. Here we've got one egg white, a corn flour. Mm -hmm. This is your silkening. Velvet is that in. What it's called? Velvet in, yeah. Oh, you just I mix corn flour, soft. egg whites together, and half an egg white and two tablespoons will oh, do oh. up to 500 grams of meat. Mm. So lean meats like turkey, pork, that sort of thing. And what you do is cut that into this. It's Ken Holmes' idea from 25 years ago, not mine. A little bit of salt and pepper. And then you either put it in hot oil or you blanch it in a bit of water first. And then you'll end up with... If you blanch it in hot water, won't all of that come off? No, no, it sets it straight away, cos oh. the starch sets. Oh. That way you keep all the juice inside. So in here, I've just started this off now. I've done this earlier because we've got a bit of time here. And just to show you, that's where it tastes. The, the flavour and the texture is fantastic. Yum. Right. So to that, I'm going to add a little touch of garlic. Yeah. A bit of ginger. Again, I love ginger. I love ginger. So a bit of that goes in. And don't worry too much about the water catching on there. So it's liquid in a minute and that'll get it off. Now, a few peppers here, yellow peppers. How long do you cook your chicken for before you uh, add the, the veggies? Probably three or four minutes, like just to warm it through. Yeah. And what I've done with the peppers is, and you can do it with the onions if you want, if you're using normal onions, into a pan in cold water, bring them up to the boil, turn them out, and it just takes that bit of rawness uh, out okay. of the vegetable. Otherwise, it can be a bit raw. Yeah, yeah, I know what you yeah. mean. So then, I've got a few munch two or green beans in there, go, a few peppers. In that goes. You spring onions. Spring onions, a few bean sprouts. Yeah. And it literally just bring that together like so. I mean, okay. That's very healthy, isn't it, that as well? All yeah. those veggies, all that yummy stuff. Soy sauce. Mm -hmm. In that goes. So put quite a bit of soy in there. So that, all those bits off the bottom. In that goes. I do add a little bit of tomato ketchup. I made a I had a bit of a mistake. I made a mistake earlier on. Do what? One of the break. I wandered over and I oh. thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought voicing sauce. Oh, what so is I, it? I nick one of the one of the peppers and add a dip, and it's oyster sauce. Oh, oyster sauce. But this is which is fine in a dish, but you don't want to be dipping in it. No, really? it's wickedly strong. Don't taste. Is it? Yeah. Well, and let I'm me put some in here. Look. Well, have a go. Talking of which, I'm put one teaspoon. Look at that into. That's all you need. It's a bit like fish what sauce. Is it? Oh no way. No, no, no. It's not as bad. Why did you say that? Because it's not as bad. It's not fishy. I don't want to do it. Have a go. No, you told me. Come on. It's your challenge for today. Push up a trial. Can I just take a little bit? <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, exactly. I can't swallow it. <laughs> I saw my throat just went no. <laughs> Don't let it in. Because <laughs> I did oh, that with a massive grey beef. It's seriously salty. Yes, it is, but a little goes a long way. Yes. Noodles which I've cooked here, in they go, and we're literally going to give that. that a bit of a, a mix around like that. So there, that is the basic, basically the dish. Now. You're absolutely right. It wouldn't taste very nice if you had that on its own. But no. that one teaspoon makes a massive difference. Mm. Now, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do here is put mm. this onto here like this, so that you guys can have a little taste oh, look over at there. That. Is that Bell, Bell's that. favourite is the noodles. Now, Mr. Schofield, you said you wanted some noodles, didn't you? Crispy noodles, like like Vesta Chow Mein. Right. In this pan here, I've got some very hot oil, as you can see. Very, very hot. So be yep. careful. What oil? Here, I've got rice noodles. Okay. What, you ready for this? Careful, yep. careful. Look what they do. Look what they do. Look. Ah, <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's amazing. There they There's your noodles. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Is it as easy as that? Yeah. yeah. I'll do it again. Can you do it again? It was like a magic okay. trick. Ready? In they go. Wow. But. It tells you when it's done. <laughs> but. Yes, it's it does. So sweet. <laughs> but. A word of caution, that needs to be very, very hot yeah. and it will burn Sorry, you. Sorry, what oil did you put in there? Normal vegetable oil. And these are rice noodles, they're not the egg noodles. So in those, um, in that particular fast dehydrated food yes, that I mentioned... Yes, yes, yes. You had a little packet of the little yellow strips 
um, and you, and you put that. those in the pan yeah. and they, and and they did, that. did that. Yes. Oh, wow. Well. And, and Cyril Fletcher... No, that even a thing. Cyril Fletcher used to do the voiceover and it was simple, moral, fun to eat. These Vesta dishes are complete. Now, other, other dishes like that are available. <laughs> on, Although on I don't think they are, actually, funny enough. <laughs> on that <laughs> note, because I knew you might be hungry. <laughs> They're so We nice. did a few more, and here I've got a little one we just put on the side here, so you can have, look at that, for your lunch or your Is dinner. that the usual size of the one you'd be eating? There you go, look at that! So good, I'm this is delicious, absolutely so, delicious. But the point being is that that velveting of that chicken, the, 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 flay, the, the, the texture is amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, you can do it with roast chicken, and I would sometimes, if the chicken's slightly overcooked, that you've roasted, or turkey, a little bit of egg white and cornflour and start to put it into it, it would have the same effect. Really? Yes, it does. This is really, it's really gorgeous. so tasty. Oh, so and those good. are a revelation. So yeah. Good. So good. Now, going back to the... Oh, I'm eating my mouth, oh. I apologise. Um, it's all right. My mum, in the 70s, would do this for tea. And it was a revelation. And even now, as you quite rightly said, to this day, I remember her cooking them in a little frying pan in her kitchen. Yeah. Amazing. The late, the late it was a paella as well. It was that a paella. didn't have crispy noodles, but it was paella. It's a freeze-dried meat Risotto. and vegetables, isn't it? Yeah, I, know, I used to love Sounds it. Sounds delicious. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you both. <laughs> um, for more details about today's recipe, uh, have a look at our This Morning app. Right, still to come, Sam Rubin is here with all the latest shows. You that up my nose. <laughs> Did you? Steady on. Ow. You're getting a, an quite injury. Sharp. <laughs> That's the fork. <laughs>